Hello everyone and welcome back to another what I ate today video. So for breakfast, well I call it brunch, I enjoyed a mixed berry oatmeal with chopped almonds. So this was super easy to make, I was very hungry after my workout so I just quickly threw my rolled oats into my rice cooker. Yes, I cook my oatmeal in my rice cooker and it comes up perfectly every single time. I add in my chopped dates. I add in my desired amount of water. I like my oatmeal a little bit thicker so I add a little bit less water. And when it's done cooking, I like to stir it in together thoroughly and it breaks up the dates even more once they're cooked. It's super, super sweet. I added some cinnamon and some strawberries and blackberries and then again I mixed it up really, really well. Yeah, and of course I make a mess as I'm doing it. And then once it's stirred thoroughly and completely, it does moisten up a little bit more the oatmeal once you've added in, added in the frozen berries. So it's a really perfect, nice texture. And of course I topped it with some more frozen blackberries and some more frozen strawberries. And then some chopped almonds. And that was it. It was super quick, super um, easy, super cheap, and really, really, really delicious. I highly recommend this recipe. For dinner, I had my absolute favorite potato fries with jasmine rice and kidney beans and veggies. So I figured I'd record and film the um, prepping of this meal as well so you can see how I make my potato fries and all of the other goodness in this meal. Um, I just make sure I chop up my potatoes evenly and then I lay them on my tray lined with parchment paper. And then really once everything is laid out neatly and flat, um, you can really sprinkle on whatever type of seasonings that you prefer. I honestly like it very, very simple. So I either do just black pepper or hot chili pepper or, um, cumin or paprika and then you bake it. So we've been including rice back into our diet. Um, we did go through an experiment. I have a video on my YouTube channel here explaining why we cut out rice for like two months. Um, neither of us noticed a difference so we're eating it again and it's really cheap. It's really delicious. So basically this was jasmine rice and I poured it into the rice cooker with some water and before I cook it I stir it up really neatly and then it goes onto the cooker. So a meal here is never complete without vegetables. Um, so I have a large carrot here between the two of us. And these greens, these are my favorite greens right now at the moment, and they are small green cabbage. I essentially just chop off the end bits and cut them into bite-sized pieces. And that's pretty much it. Once it's all chopped, it goes straight into the steamer and this little steamer here will go on top of the rice cooker. So while the rice is cooking, the veggies will be steaming. So now once everything's cooked, I'm gonna put it all into this very large bowl as neatly as possible um, because you know, we gotta make some pretty Instagram photos. So I generally like to eat my foods separate. So I take like a bite of uh, potato and bite of beans and then a bite of veggies, etc. But today I decided to stir up the jasmine rice with the kidney beans and it was a very good decision. Then in goes the crispy potato fries and I tried my best to line them up very neatly because it looks super pretty. I was very pleased with how these potato fries came out today. They're very crispy on the outside and super soft on the inside. That's just how you like them. And then in goes the veggies, the steamed greens and the carrots. And with every meal uh, for a savory meal, I really like to have some fresh um, crunch uh, as well as cooked. So I have some fresh chopped uh, cilantro here as well as some fresh chopped cucumber and tomato and once the photo's done and the filming's done I do add on top more tomato and more cucumber. So here's the final product folks. It was a huge bowl of potato fries, rice, beans, veggies, all the good stuff and everything here was super delicious and super satisfying. So that's everything I ate in a day and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you're new here to my channel subscribe for more and I will see you next time.